Okay, I got these, uh, dang, can you see in the light? I got these water tanks coming off into a Y. They're all filled now with the rain. And uh, 275 gallons a piece, so I got over a thousand gallons of water. And I got a pump down here that I pumped the water from. And I've been running just a hose on top of the ground. But I decided I got some irrigation pipe. I just dug this shallow trench because I'm gonna every winter I'm just gonna uh, I'm going to uh, blow it out, get all the water out, and not worry about it. I'm not gonna go three feet under. <clears throat> so anyway, I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to cut a cut this concrete the sidewalk here to uh, to get it to to get the pipe under to set it up so I can have it right next to that pump well <clears throat> what I had I bought years ago was this this end piece it's just a cap and then this is like you know just a spring uh, stiffener on like a what do they call them divider or whatever it is <clears throat> and I'll tell you what that thing knocked a hole through there faster than I could think about it almost I mean I had to wiggle, I just put it in and kind of wiggled it around and pulled it in pushed you know kind of kind of uh, pushed it in and out to get it to go over but it, it went through there pretty damn quick now all I got to do instead of cutting it out I just got to run my pipe through, so this is going a lot quicker than I thought. And this is what I was going to cut the concrete with, but it's a, it's an old uh, Mitsubishi or a I don't know, it's not, I think it's Mitsubishi, no, Makita, I know it is, an M. I got it probably, I think 30 years ago, about 85 or something like that. But now it's, I think, I think this piece right here is messing up. It was making a grinding sound, so I went through... There was metal all in here, so I'm replacing the, the bearing inside here. I'm replacing all I got all the bearings to replace. I got to put it together and armature right here and everything. All the arm the bearings for that. I got to put it back together, and that's what I was going to cut the concrete with. But now I remember that water jet, and I'd seen them in the I'd seen them in the like uh, supply stores. Where you can, you know, they're like a wand though, like they're they're longer, probably going for going on the driveways. And I was, that's just a it's a narrow sidewalk, but that that thing worked pretty good. Better than getting this thing and trying to cut it with my uh, I don't know I think I got a six eight inch freaking concrete or a <clears throat> brick cutting, which I think would have taken a lot longer than what I have, and probably longer than this. I mean, it didn't take uh, this long to get through with that water for this video but if you're thinking about going under a sidewalk or something like that you might want to pick up one of those things instead of cutting through the sidewalk they they do work i, I was skeptical but uh it does work and it went through almost exactly where i wanted it to come out i mean it was like it started squirting out the other side right where i wanted it to come out it was like ah, oh, cool it's going the way it should <clears throat>